today's cup of coffee, we're going to be discussing cursed objects. And as the weather gets warmer and we're going to have all kinds of yard sales, estate sales, uh, different things like that. And people, I don't know about you, but I personally, I like to do the yard selling thing. Uh, flea markets, any of those wonderful things that hopefully will be opened back up. Be careful what you are looking for and what you bring into your home. And if you don't have a strong sense, you know, that gut feeling, always trust your gut. Seriously, that's your second second brain. And science has uh, proven that neurotransmitters and stuff are produced in your gut, not just in your brain. So you can take medications that will help and you don't have to worry about crossing that blood-brain barrier on that. Anyhow, but that's another video, isn't it? <laughs> Be careful of uh, these items that you bring in your home. Because some things, it's like, oh, this is cool. This is really cute. Consider who may have owned it beforehand. And, uh, you know, some of the things that you find in a Goodwill or a Salvation Army or something like that, a lot of these things have been donated after somebody is deceased. And that's not a bad thing because they don't need them anymore. But it's a matter of, did that person have a particular attachment to an item? And so that way you can bring the essence of that person into your home. So, again, trust your gut. Now, I'm one of these that, youngest kid and I, we really enjoy going to, like, antique malls and things like that. I, I have a very strong, almost visceral response to something that has a negative energy to it. And <laughs> it's beyond words, but if, if you're ever near me and I look at something and go, mmm, and I will physically, you know, my hands, I will try to push it away. Now, that's not coming in my house. And I was talking to my mother uh, the other day about a couple of items that we had seen in an antique mall a couple of years ago, which were children's shoes. And there's just something weird to me about wearing other people's shoes. It's not that I haven't done it before, and that's perfectly fine. But to have... and. The shoes of children, maybe like from the 1800s, and it was probably just those shoes. It, no, no, no. And I know there was a little pair of ice skates that somebody would have, you know, thought, well, that would make a nice wall decoration or whatever. It, there was something about those things. Same thing with baby dolls. And I'm, I'm one of those that, you know, youngest kid with, with his baby dolls. And... I have to okay the baby dolls before they come in the house because I never know where they've been. I never know what type, like I said, what type of an attachment because children's items, especially if it's something that they really loved and then something happened to that child. Oh, no, you mm, you open a door to having some visitor in there that's more than just the baby doll. So be aware. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm going to say. Be aware of these things and, and ask questions. And and don't, if you, if you like a Dybbuk box, do not, do not. I don't know if you saw the movie. Actually, that was based on, very loosely on legends and stuff like that. If you've got a box that's got some kind of a wax seal or something on it, leave it alone. You know, unless you want to bring it home and bury it or burn it or do something like that. Let somebody else build the fire with that. So just be aware of what you're bringing into your home. Even new things, if it's got young kid and I, I was, I was talking to, to someone else, and I would mention her name, but I don't know whether she wants to be mentioned. Youngest kid uh, had purchased a serving tray that had a Ouija board design on it, and I did not want him to purchase this. And he's like, He's like, I'm not going to use it. It's never going to be used. He had it as a wall decoration. And then things started blowing up more here at home. And it's just like, you know, even even after the one individual had been removed, it's like, no, you get that thing off the wall, you build a fire. And reluctantly, he did, even though it had never been used. And I told him, I said, look, I said, that's to me, that's like a door that something can peer through. And I don't want that in my house. We've already got Google, so why do we need something more from the other side looking in on us? So just 
be aware of these things. Some things that are marketed as toys are not. But on your flea markets, enjoy your flea markets. Enjoy your yard sales. Just be cautious of what you bring home. Yeah, and especially like furniture, this is not paranormal. Furniture, watch, because if, if somebody had bugs, oh, ew. Now, that's scary to think that you've brought home a sofa full of cockroaches, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyhow, enjoy your coffee. If you've got supernatural, paranormal, UFO, Bigfoot, anything like that. If you've got interesting legends, if somebody somewhere along the line told you something, send it to me. Or you're going to get more cockroach stories to go with your coffee, and I don't think anybody wants that. Email address is cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And uh, this troll doll, that, that thing actually is very special to me because when I was a very small child, I had one similar to it. And the older I get, the more I resemble those troll dolls. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a goth troll doll, okay? You all have a beautiful, blessed day. <laughs>